Welcome back, and today we have 10 knives that still remain great in my collection. First up, we have the Kubi Royal. This one is a CM Knife Designs collaboration, and similar to the, the new Tuya Knives Mutt, except a much more affordable version. It's like 40-something bucks. G10 that's contoured. You have that beautiful blade that, that's going to be good for just about anything you do with it because it's not a huge belly to it. You have that elongated uh, blade hole and you have a front flipper. And uh, it's easy to reverse flick it, easy to slow roll it, and you can even thumb flick it if you like. D2 steel, comfortable in hand, reversible deep carry pocket clip. Yeah, they did a lot right on this and uh, it's very, very affordable. I think it's a, it's a good looking knife as well. So that's number one. <laughs> uh, I will have uh, links to all these knives down in the uh, description and possibly pinned in the comments. If you want to help support the channel, that's one way to help support the channel by using my affiliate links. I do get a small commission off of any uh, knife purchased from my links. But you don't have to use them, just they're there if you want to. Next up we have the Civivi Knives Dogma. This one has been discontinued, so once they're gone, they're gone. And I hate seeing that because this is a beautiful, beautiful clip point. Not to mention it's got a deep, deep hollow grind on it. So this thing slices like nobody's business. It's comfortable in hand. You have that faux jigged uh, pattern on the G10 to give it more of like a traditional look. Uh, deep carry tip up left or right handed pocket clip. You can even choke up on it. Very nasty tip there. Uh, D2 steel. Awesome, awesome knife, and they only want 30 bucks for these. So if you ever wanted one of the if you ever wanted this knife, now's your now's your time to jump on it. 30 bucks is unbelievable. Another crazy good deal. This right here is the Real Steel H6 Plus. This one has a 3.75 inch 14C 28N blade. So nice big old chunk of 14C, beautiful stone wash, comfortable in hand, peel ply G10 on the show side. Got a long geared backspacer, uh, stainless steel stone wash frame lock with their beta lock. It doesn't allow you to disengage that lock. Uh, deep carry pocket clip. Now it is tip up right hand carry only, but you can get these right now on Amazon for $30. That is unbelievable. 30 bucks, nice and smooth. This would be an excellent work knife because it, it is riding on washers, but it is a uh, nice and smooth, nice and snappy uh action to it very very smooth action i have the this one and i have the more medium size one but that one has a recurve to it this one is much more enticing to me i may even go buy a second one all right probably the priciest knife on this list but i absolutely love it this is the kongwu pulsar and i think these are priced just excellent you have this beautiful blade that's going to be good at just about anything you use it for. LMAX steel, that's Rockwell the 60, it's 60 to 62, which is exactly where you want LMAX to be. Very comfortable where it goes. You can choke up on it. You got a nice crown spine. You got a crossbar lock that's ridiculously smooth and rock solid. No plate in any direction. They do an excellent job with their crossbar lock. Deep carry pocket clip. Uh, geared backspacer, lanyard hole for the lanyard people. You can get it in this diamond time diamond texture like this with a satin blade for like one thirty. I mean two thirty nine, and you can get uh, the same exact knife with a G ten instead of titanium for like one seventy nine. So I think it's an outstanding bargain and an excellent excellent knife. Great size as well. Love love the Pulsar. Next up we have the O knife Beagle. This is probably one of my favorite O-Knife uh, designs that they've dropped so far. Just got a beautiful thumb stud action. You got that nice harpoon blade shape, 154 CM steel. Super, super smooth. Reversible deep carry pocket clip. Comfortable in hand. Just an overall excellent, excellent package. Uh, satin finish. This is an Azo design. Good access to that lock bar. Nice long row of effective jimping. Just did a whole lot right here. Next up we have probably my favorite budget Best Tech. And this is the Best Tech Texel. Mine, I did the acid stone wash to the blade. Uh, but they have it in satin coated, uh, two-toned. You have contour G10. 
This is, a, I think, an Adam Purvis collaboration. Don't love the pocket clip, but it's like a $50 knife. It's got beautiful, beautiful action. The flipper tab's done perfectly. It's canted back. It's got jimping to it. It sits a little bit in front of that pivot, so you get a lot of momentum once you flip, once it breaks that detent. Very, very nice. You got ceramic ball bearings and a ceramic detent ball. Excellent size. Beautiful blade shape. Love the Texel. One that I reviewed this year, we have the Artisan Cutlery Accelerator. This is a Mike Snowdy design. He's a Hall of Famer, knife designer, knife uh, maker. You got beautiful contoured micarta scales. This is a big old knife. Very smooth. You got another harpoon blade shape right here. It's in there AR PM9 stainless steel, which is an excellent, excellent budget steel. Beautiful, beautiful action. You can slow roll it if you want. Very, very nice. Uh, you have a very well done mill titanium pot clip with the Snowdy uh, dollar sign logo on it. I think it's like a brass pivot collar. Yeah, good looking knife. Uh, I think it's a it's either brass or titanium backspacer. It might be a titanium backspacer anodized gold and a hidden lanyard pin back there. Just an overall awesome knife. Super comfortable. You can choke up all the way on it. Put your finger in that little scoop. Money right there. Love, love the knife. <laughs> um, like I said, if you're looking for a bigger knife, this one has close to a four inch blade and it's a behemoth that the handle how it slopes down right there makes for a very very comfortable grip love it next up we have the matt christensen collaboration uh kaiser critical mini and i have i think like six of these knives this is the most affordable one uh you have a canvas micarta scales red accent aluminum accents for a pivot collar and the backspacer and lanyard hole uh, you have a deep carry a tip up pocket clip. It is right hand only though. Uh, nice snappy action. Good size for EDC. You got that nice aggressive Warncliffe blade. 154 CM steel. There's Matt Christensen's logo right there. I love a lot of his stuff. Just a really cool knife. Nice smooth action. Nice snappy action. I really wish it was tip for lefties as well. Good reverse flicker. Love it. It's riding on ceramic ball bearings and a ceramic detent ball as well. One more that I just overlooked a lot. That is the Kaiser Beg Lighter 2 button lock. And I think it's because there were so many different Beg Lighters. I just kind of overlooked this one. But I, I've been using this one lately. And I've kind of fallen in love with it. You got this linen, green linen micarta. So it's got nice soft texture to it. It's not as grippy as canvas. But still gives you some grip but it's very soft to the touch. You have a uh, button lock on this one, snappy button lock, and you have pretty much a, it's like a slicer grind because it's full flat ground all the way from here to the front. And then just got a little bit of a flat back here. So it's very slicey, 154 CM steel, long row of effective jimping. You have a good sharpening choil, deep carry clip that's reversible very very smooth button lock action once you release that button lock there's absolutely no no resistance there perfectly centered flow through construction they got uh, tons of skeletonization in there comfortable in hand so that's 10 that uh, still remain excellent still remain good to make their way into my pocket uh, especially this one right here, man. The the Royal's just been seeing a lot of pocket time. It's just a very useful blade shape. And for 42 bucks or something like that, it's hard to beat. One thing I will say before I let y'all go, if you get this knife and for some reason it's not, you know, super smooth like this, if it feels gritty, take it apart and clean it out. Because sometimes Kubi uses like yellow greasy stuff and it's not, you know, it's not the slickest stuff in the world. So if you have a lube of choice, I would just take it down and clean it. I sharpened this one the other day and man, oh man, I, I left this D2 to around a 600 grit and then I stropped it. It's got so much bite to it. Nice stone wash finish on it. Yeah. Love the knife. And man, 30 bucks for the Dogma. And uh, where's that other one? I just... 30 bucks for this one as well. The Real Steel H6 Plus. Just look at that. That's a pretty massive size knife right there. Excellent, excellent deal. And another big one. The Artisan Accelerator. Hmm. 
you like big knives, those two are excellent ones to go for. Excellent EDC, the mini, the critical mini. Love, love the Pulsar. Such an attractive looking knife. Love that diamond texture. You can also get it in smooth titanium. They have a carbon fiber one with a black blade that <laughs> I've been thinking about picking up myself. Love it. Very slicey blade as well. And the Beagle. Love the Beagle. Yeah. Some good choices here. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. Uh, if you're looking for a good EDC knife, you know, all these are excellent choices. Just depends on your size range that you're looking for. And um, I don't know if I even did. I don't know if I showed this one. If I didn't, uh, I'm going to do it again. If not, we got the Savivi Spiny Dogfish. This one was off to the side. Uh, I think this is a, a, a an attractive knife that looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. It's a Gafco, Michael Gafco design from Gafco Knives. You got a deep carry pocket clip. It's not reversible, unfortunately. And you have this nice textured uh, G10. Really want to pick up the micarta one. I'm going to have to try to get me one of those. Beautiful reverse flicker. And you have that compound ground blade where you have the thinner grind right here and the thicker grind for a tougher task up there in the front. Uh, this one's in 14C 28M blade steel. Excellent sharpening choil. You can kind of do like a trigger pull right there. Very smooth action on it. Beautiful handle. So yeah, there you go. Like I said, all these will be linked down below if you want to help support the channel and you're already planning on buying one of these. Awesome. If not, no sweat off my back. And uh, if you have any questions about any of these, feel free to ask me down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, I have several more I can do. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.